Cliff City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you at my happy place, Costco. Uh, I'm low. I'm low on a lot of Costco essentials. So we're gonna do what we always do. Walk around Costco, get some of my favorite items. But spoiler alert, I just did a lap. I saw a couple new items that are very exciting and Bobby approved. So less talking, more shopping. Let's go around Costco. Be -you, be -you. Do you spy a new item? I do. Wait a second. So these guys <laughs> normally make the Bobby approved granola bar over in the snack section. They're making granola now. It's paleo. Hey, Lonnie, scan it with the Bobby approved app. It's got to come up approved. Yeah. Yes. Look at this, my friends. Perfect. So this is so clutch because they make the cleanest granola bars around. And now, boom, almonds, honey, pecans, coconut. What kind of oil? Coconut oil, real vanilla extract no processed oils, no refined sugars, my friends. This is super exciting. Between this right here and their granola bars all the way over there, they got the market corner like the Duke and Duke Brothers on Trading Places. $11.99 a pound for real deal paleo granola. That is phenomenal. I can't wait to try it out. And of course, download the Bobby Approved app just like uh, Leilani does. It's free. We actually have an amazing uh, deal that's expiring today for you guys on there, just for app users. Apple App Store, Google Play Store, search Bobby Approved. The app is free. You can scan food, household products, personal care products. It tells you does it have best in class ingredients. It highlights the cruddy ingredients and gives you better suggestions. Check it out. It's like having me shop with you. I'm sure longtime Flav City fans have heard me talk about this being literally the best lunch meat at any grocery store. And I just ran out because I bought so much last time and it expired by like 10 days. And when I got back from Colorado, I opened it and it was super slimy inside. So I wasted money, but any organic high quality turkey at any other grocery store is going to be $16 a pound. But at $8.90 a pound, compare this to this one over here. My friends, this is your other one that people scan like crazy with the Bobby approved app. Um, does anyone see what's going on? This is only 20 cents cheaper. This is not only factory farm GMO fed turkey. Read the ingredients. It's not just turkey at all. It's cut with soy protein isolate. That's to make a filler ingredient. And it's GMO soy protein. There's brown sugar. There's natural flavors. Why oh why would you buy that? Why would anyone buy that? when they can buy the organic one, like I'm gonna do now, for the same price, that's organic, no filler ingredients, no sugar, no nothing besides salt, seasoning, and turkey. This might be the loudest section of Costco ever, but it's worth shouting from the mountaintops. Get that turkey, it's the best deal ever. Bomber. We don't have it here, but some Costco's have Fourth and Heart Ghee Oil Spray living around here. And I know that for a fact because I've been getting emails and DMs from people, it seems like in the Northwest about it. Uh, if you watch my stories of what I'm making for dinner at home a lot, I use the Ghee Oil Spray a lot. I usually buy it on Thrive Market, it's a good deal. But some Costco's have a two pack for a ridiculous deal. Fans are sending me pictures, they're sending me videos, they're taking in warehouse. If you have it, and I'll try to get a store list, I think Pacific Northeast, I'll put the link down below check it out that is some of the best ghee on the market and they put it in a spray can without the chemicals and it does have grapeseed oil so someone said bobby grapeseed oil is not bobby approved it's virgin cold pressed grapeseed oil the good version and the reason why it's in there is ghee is so viscous and thick it needs that uh, liquid or that less viscous uh, grapeseed oil to come out i'm telling you that spray oil is legit Fourth and Heart is the real deal. If you have it, run for us, run, because it's epic, and I'm seriously jealous, y'all. We're out of chickpea pasta at home, and the Costco in Boca doesn't have this. This is such a great deal. This is chickpea pasta. And what do I say about carbohydrates? If you're gonna eat something like pasta, make sure it counts. This is simple carbohydrates made of wheat. Even the organic one is still white wheat flour. This, my friends, is made of chickpeas. And look at the ingredients. It's chickpea. It does have a little bit of xanthan gum and tapioca to bind it together. But because it's made of complex carbohydrates, boom goes the dynamite. Per serving of two ounces, which we all eat more than that, five grams of fiber and 11 grams of protein. Are you kidding me? There's a couple benefits. Number one, that kind of fiber is gonna keep you regular, right? But when you have a complex carbohydrate that has that much protein and fiber, it slows the absorption of sugar into your bloodstream so it's more diabetic friendly. 
This is great. I do wish it was organic chickpeas uh, because you have to worry about glyphosate a little bit, but still, it's a great, great thing to have. And compared to a normal grocery store, that price per pound is crazy. You get that, you combine it with your favorite, either Paisana or Rayos, and you're good to go. This is incredibly Bobby approved, but I don't really drink matcha. And Leilani was just asking me why. It's because matcha tea has a very strong, earthy, bitter flavor, but the price is legit. This is very high quality matcha powder here. And to get it for $20 or 1.6 uh, cents per ounce is fantastic. I do drink green tea at home. I love organic jasmine loose leaf and that's high in antioxidants. But fun fact about matcha, it's the whole tea leaf ground into a powder. So the antioxidants are literally off the chart. But Leilani just had an idea for a mocktail. Tell what it is. Um, uh, muddled strawberries, uh, lemonade from the Shop Life City Keto Lemonade, and then a coconut cream with the matcha on top. Sold. We're going to try <laughs> that. Look out for the reel coming out on Flav City Instagram soon with this and our Keto Lemonade. Dynamite! <laughs> <laughs> Guess what's back? Banana. Back again, my friends. The best dairy-free paleo buffalo sauce in the two pack is back and it's back it already has the star on there it's discontinued already it's no. nine it's, maybe it's a, a trial run who knows it's 9.99 for two 16.5 ounce containers my friends it's literally twice the price at any other grocery store and if you want best in class buffalo sauce forget about the fact that it's paleo meaning instead of putting butter or dairy they use pumpkin seed butter but wait a second the old recipe used to have cashew butter. Well, there you go. New recipe, no cashews. And I wonder if they did that, Leilani, because cashews technically aren't paleo. Mm -hmm. and also maybe because of people's uh, nut allergies. Well, maybe, yeah, they made it more allergen friendly. So they put pumpkin seed butter in there, but look at this, avocado oil instead of butter. Pumpkin seed butter makes it rich and creamy. Look at this. Look at that sauce. You put that over wings, which I've done, especially on the Traeger grill. It lights out delicious. You have to try this. It looks like it's here for a limited time. This is so good and it's keto friendly because one, one net carb per serving of one tablespoon, totally kosher. And that price is cray cray. I am fresh out of cheddar at home. And I just walked by here and was about to get the Dubliner like I always get, but hello, hello. Has anyone seen this before? Organic Kingdom UK cheddar cheese. Look at this. From the birthplace of cheddar. Now this is $7.99 a pound. Kerrygold is $6.29 a pound. They're both really good. This is milk from grass-fed cows. This is still grass-fed. This is non-GMO. Kerrygold in the USA is non-GMO, even though they don't have the stamp on there. I finally verified it, but this is organic. To be honest, they're very similar. I haven't tried this yet. Organic is gonna be slightly superior because the feed is 100% organic. I'm gonna try this. That's a really good deal. Now, Kerrygold, you may have seen my short or my reel on Instagram the other week. There was this lawsuit that came up on Instagram about it not being 100% grass-fed, and we always knew that. But in that lawsuit, they discovered that it was a GMO feed. But then, after I put that video out, Kerry Gold DM me saying, no, 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 check out this link. They're non-GMO, project certified in North America, but they don't put the stamp on any of their products, which I think is a huge disservice. So we can all sleep well at night knowing that the supplemental feed for Kerry Gold is non-GMO. Uh, Carrie, you got to put that on your package. It's a big, big deal. But I'm going to try this one because it's an even better deal, in my opinion. All right, family, that is it. We did the deed. Going to go home. Uh, be on the lookout for that recipe for the matcha yeah. lemonade with the coconut cream topping. It sounds amazing. Uh, but that is it from my happy place, Costco. We leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. High five. <laughs> Later. <laughs>